Okay then, so in today's RetroBat setup guide, we are taking a look at the PCSX2 core from RetroArch, which we can access in the latest RetroBat version 6 beta 2. So I last covered this a few months ago as the PCSX2 standalone version. So today I'm going to show you an easy route into getting into PS2 gaming through RetroBat. I'm going to be looking at BIOS files required and also configuring your video settings. So if you want some PS2 action, check this one out. Okay then, before I start today's PCSX2 and RetroBat setup guide, make sure to hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming RetroBat and various other emulation content that I upload on my channel every day. It also helps my channel a great deal. So let's get on to this. We're looking at PCSX2 RetroArch Edition. So what we're going to do first is go to the RetroBat shortcut, right click on it, open file location, and from here we can go to BatG ui.exe open up the system list and then we're going to open up system and just scroll down until we reach ps2 and here we go now let me just remind you if you don't see this part opening up just here it's quite likely you've not installed retroback correctly in that case follow my comprehensive guide which you can find in my retroback playlist and that will get you up and running with retroback so on with PS2, under file extensions, we can find the file extensions which are going to work with PCSX2. So we got the most typical file extensions, .iso and .bin, and also .chd work. Now if you've got .bin files, you can easily convert these into .chd using chdman. So we're also looking at the course Libretro, which is going to run this. And of course, we're going to be using PCSX2. So what we're going to do is just close out of here and close out again. And if we head over to the RetroBat Wiki, it's going to tell us here which BIOS files we need for this version of PCSX2. So I'm going to leave the link in my description for this just here. And I've got the files ready. And here's my file. So these are going to go into your RetroBat BIOS directory. And inside of here, you're going to find PCSX2. And here it is. And inside PCSX2 in BIOS, you should then drag and drop those BIOS files inside. Next up, we're actually going to place the games into the RetroBat ROMs folder as standard. So ROMs and then just scroll down until we find ps2 and like it just said in batch ui this is a dot iso file extension game and that's going to work perfectly so just drag your games into the ps2 roms folder and that's about it so from here we can then open up retrobat itself Okay, and as we can see, we now have PlayStation 2 within RetroBat. And if you followed my other PS2 RetroBat setup guide, you'll notice that I actually used the standalone version for this. But this one, of course, like I say, is the RetroWatch version. So if we just go into PS2, here's our game. Let's just scrape some artwork. And scrape now. And scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. So game settings, update game list, and yes. Okay, cool. So as we can see, we now have got a preview video for it. So what we're gonna do is open up view options by pressing select on controller, advanced system options, emulator, so from emulator, we're gonna select Libretro PCSX2. And if we back out of here, we're going to just start up the game. Yeah. 
So on your first time, we're going to have to set this up just like it was a physical, real PlayStation 2. So as we can see, that's working fairly well. So what we're going to do next is just make some visual improvements to this. So we're going to press select and go to view options by pressing select, advanced system options. First of all, what I'm going to do is take away the decorations, which is the PlayStation 2 on the sides of the screen. So if we take this away by selecting none, game aspect ratio, I'm going to put this on to full. Integer scaling, just turn this on or leave on auto, that's going to just blur things out a little bit so things aren't so pixelated. Vertical sync is crucial for 3D games, it's going to take away any screen tear. Internal resolution is now going to be the part where you need to determine if your computer is a good computer or a potato computer. So after you've established what type of computer you've got, you can actually increase this up to 5K. But in all honesty, you know, even if you get this at 720p or 1080p or even 2K, it's a big bonus. And of course, native PlayStation 2 would have been around 480p to 480 interlaced back in the day. So like I said, just by increasing it to 720p or even 1080p is a big deal. So for this, I'm going to just go to 1080p. Now, if we go into video, because we're using a retro watch core for this, if we go right to the bottom, game aspect ratio core, put this one onto 16 by 9 and back out. Visual rendering, we got plenty just here to play with. So video filters, we can add scan lines or whatever you wish. Just take a look at experiment. I'm personally going to leave this to auto. Smooth games by literally filtering, you can either turn this on or just leave it to auto if you wish. Now, why screen hacks can be used in some other games with PCSX2 that will cause lagging, cause really strange artifacts in your game. So use wide screen hacks with caution. I'm gonna attempt to try this one for Outrun. Next up, we got anti-aliasing. So just like your internal resolution upscaling PS2, it's gonna be very wearing on your hardware. So if you've got a potato computer, then be very cautious. Personally, I'm going to turn this one on to yes. Anastrophic filtering, just like internal resolution and the prior option to this one. If you've got low spec computer, then try not to bump this up too much. Otherwise, it's going to cause lag. So just for this recording, I'm going to select two times and two times is going to be great. So anastrophic filtering is going to add slight blur to the pixelation. And if we go down the texture filter, this smooths out the blockiness of PlayStation 2 games. So I find the best result for this is to select nearest. Let's boot up Outrun again.
And that's it for today's PCSX2 Retro Watch Core setup guide for RetroBat. So if you've not yet hit notifications and you like today's video, hit notifications and also subscribe. Like I say, it really helps my channel out a lot. Plus it gets you up to date RetroBat emulation content as I release it, which is a few times a week nowadays. So also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.